I'm Dr. Silva and I'm going to talk to you about clomipramine. Clomipramine is a tricyclic antidepressant. It belongs to the first generation of antidepressants and it's special because it has significant serotonergic activity. It blocks the reuptake of serotonin far more than the other medications that are in that class, which include amitriptyline, protriptyline, dizipramine, amipramine. Those medications are largely noradrenergic. They block the reuptake of norepinephrine. And so they're very good antidepressants, but clomipramine stands apart because it has a lot more serotonin action, and so it is much better for anxiety. It's much better for obsessive compulsive disorder, for which it was the first medication that was approved, called anaphronil. Now, the problem with the first generation agents is that they have a lot of side effects. They're actually very toxic in overdose, potentially lethal in overdose due to cardiac conduction abnormalities. You get a fatal rhythm and you can go into cardiac arrhythmia and die if you overdose on it. So it is possible to commit suicide by taking a bottle of clomipramine or amitriptyline. Also, they have a lot of anticholinergic side effects. So those bothersome side effects that include constipation and blurred vision and dry skin. And they also can cause orthostatic hypotension, which is a loss of the pressure. If you stand up, when you stand up too quickly, if you've been sitting or lying down for a while, that can cause you to feel very dizzy, very faint. You could actually fall or even lose consciousness. Very, very dangerous. In overdose, they can also cause seizures. They just have a lot of side effects and they have to be used very judiciously. But among the tricyclics, clomipramine is very special because it is also very good for obsessive compulsive disorder and other anxiety spectrum disorders. And it actually led to the development of Prozac and the SSRIs when clinicians noticed that blocking the reuptake of serotonin, increasing serotonin in that way, had significant anxiolytic properties. The tricyclics are used for everything from neuropathic pain to insomnia to migraine headache prophylaxis to fibromyalgia to nocturnal enuresis, bedwetting in children. Imipramine is approved for that. As a class, there is evidence to suggest that they are actually more efficacious than the second generation and later generations of antidepressants. Maybe not so the third generations and the fourth generations because those medications have some very unique mechanisms of action. But certainly the SSRIs compared to the tricyclics, you're going to get more, you're going to get better anti-anxiety control with most of the SSRIs compared to most of the tricyclics because most of them are neuroadrenergic. But if we're comparing to clomipramine, I would say clomipramine is as good or better, but it is better for the treatment of major depression, specifically major depression that is resistant to treatment, treatment-resistant major depression. So switching to a tricyclic or adding a little bit of a tricyclic is a good idea when you're trying to get to an augmentation strategy, when you have an SSRI that's failing, for example. There's also considerable weight gain with the tricyclics, unfortunately. So they're just, they're dirty medications. They have antihistaminergic properties. They just hit all these different receptors and they cause all these side effects. But they are important medications in the armamentarium against major depression especially. And clomipramine is my favorite. I just like it because it's got a lot of serotonin action and that's always a good thing in my book. They do cause sexual dysfunction as well. And lots and lots of uh, side effects. But if you use them in low doses and you go slowly, you can tolerate them and they're worth it when they're needed. They can't be combined with MAOIs like any other antidepressant. Serotonin syndrome is a possibility. You, you can't combine them with MAOIs. And you have to be careful when you combine them with the analgesic tramadol, which also has serotonin reuptake blockade properties and can cause serotonin syndrome when you combine it with other antidepressants. So anyway, that's it in a nutshell. If you have questions, I invite